Hey there YouTube, welcome to Altcoin Picks. Today we're doing a quick market review, talk about a few alts, BitConnect, some ICOs, and three ICOs that I am super excited for that are completely under the radar. And then we're gonna finish it up with some crypto news. So let's begin with the market cap. Today we're looking at about $575 billion. We reached all the way to, I believe, 414 billion. That's crazy since we were just at 850 billion not too long ago. It was getting a little bit scary. I will say that seeing my, my gains just go down the drain. But hopefully we're coming back. We're back up 150 billion. That's exciting. Bitcoin was all the way down to about $9,400, almost $12,000 right now. Ethereum, this is all one day. This is how crazy it's going. We were at $785, spiking back up to 11,000. So this is awesome. Hopefully all the FUD is done. I know people have had probably hundreds of billions of dollars in Tether ready to jump back in once the market started showing signs of reversal. So hopefully this is the beginning of another push. I mean, we'll see. <laughs> Who knows, to be honest. Outside of that, let's just look at normal altcoins. Everything is in the green, except for two. Tether, who cares? And Ken, who cares? Everything else, top 100 in the green. That's awesome. Next, we have more green. Every single one, except for uh, <laughs> BitConnect. So BitConnect, and look at that sell-off. Jesus. So... BitConnect has been just dropping hard. They stopped lending and the sell-off just began. This dropped all the way to $5.75. Now, I have mixed feelings about BitConnect because a lot of people had a lot of money in this. They were following YouTubers that were brand new, knew nothing about the market, just wanted that referral code. You could tell because they would do other videos. They would be following like McAfee saying, Top Coins, Verge, and Tron, and... Um, Dogecoin, Redcoin, and they literally were just following what McAfee, McAfee said. And you could just tell they were uncertain about themselves. Supo actually calls someone out in one of his videos about it. I don't want to call her out because I don't I don't want to be mean. But it was so evident that these people just had no clue. And it's scary to think that other people with their money, and a lot of money at that, would follow these individuals. I had many people that have never done Bitcoin never done crypto come to me and say hey what about bitconnect and i always had to go to them and be like look to me it's a ponzi scam it's a ponzi scheme it's a scam do not do it and so they didn't i'm so glad they didn't on the on the other note it's scary because i think a lot of the youtubers that push this like trayvon james will get blamed for this and people that lost a lot of money they want to find someone to put the blame on it's going to be people like him and that's a little scary for him as a person. Who knows? Someone could come after him. That's scary. I hope they don't. I hope everyone that was involved with BitConnect learned from that mistake and just go on with their life. So now let's talk about the ICOs that I'm still super excited for. Most of them actually have their whitelist still open. First one, B Token. Five hours left. If you haven't jumped on the whitelist, jump on it. This one will be huge. Next, Nucleus Vision. Of course, this whitelist is already closed but we all know this one will be huge. Expertee, 9 million market cap, super low. I know this one will be, or should be an easy, at least 11 times multiplier. That's 100 million. Five times multiplier, five, 50 million. That is nothing. Cargo X, so now I have three sleepers. Cargo X, 7 million market cap. It's actually solving a real problem. This one was completely under the radar a few weeks ago. I think this one will also be huge. Blockport. This one looks just like Coinbase. I think they're changing it up a little bit to make it more unique, but I also think this one will be huge. You guys should check this out. We still got six hours, 10 minutes to apply for the crowd sale. And then finally, Sharpay. This one, it looks like it's almost done. I think this one will be huge also. If you look on ICObench.com, they rated a 4.7. So this is another thing I like to do. I like to go on other websites, ICObench.com, look at other YouTubers other review sites, get an idea. What are the big ICOs, the ones that are promising, already been reviewed, we know have a good chance to actually give a good return on investment. These, 
six I want to jump in. All six if possible. First three for sure if I can. Then Cargo X, that's probably my fourth biggest one. And then the other two. All six I would love. Depends on how the market's doing, if I can jump out of some of my alts. And then WAN Chain. I mean, there's just a huge mix of things about to happen. <laughs> and we'll just see how we're able to how we're able to do it. I think it, I think all of us really need the market to push. That way we can pull some funds out and jump into ICOs. Now, to finish it up, we got some crypto news. We got Mark Cuban is saying the Dallas Mavericks to accept Bitcoin and Ether next season. So he was asked for the possibility of paying for tickets with crypto on Twitter earlier, and he replied, next season. He explained they will be adding a crypto payment ability for next season and that they will accept a Bitcoin, Ether, and possibly some other currencies. And that's to be determined. And it sounds like he's thinking of doing the other currencies as the other businesses that he's working with. So we'll see how that works out. See if it actually drives the price a lot for those coins. And this doesn't surprise me because Mark Cuban is super cool. He's super down to earth. He loves the cryptocurrency scene. He's been around for a while. He's done a f numerous ICOs. And it's cool to see that he's expanding his support to his basketball team. It's just one more step to mass adoption. And I think he could be a big influence on that. A lot of people look up to him. He's on uh, Shark Tank. <laughs> I think he could be a huge face for crypto. And it looks like he's doing the right thing. That's exciting. So that's my video for today. I want to ask a question. I have not done a live stream yet. I've been thinking about doing it. Also AMAs, so interviews with ICOs. What do you guys think? Would you guys be interested in a live stream? I know I have my Discord and I do talk to you guys a lot there, but I've never done a uh, in-person, I guess you could say, live stream. I want to do it, but I want to get your opinion. Let me know in the comments. You can PM me in Discord, on Telegram, whatever. Give me your suggestions. Give me your comments. I would love to hear all of them. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.